What's up guys? Welcome back to Muscle Mechanics. As you can see, it's been a long time. I grew out a beard a little bit. Kind of look like this guy now. That's right. All right, so we got big news. The Butch and the Rowdy are going LS. Yeah. And not only LS, they're going LS Turbo. Mm -hmm. So what he's done here is he's pulled out the trusty old small block and um, I'm going to throw in a LS3 and a single turb ski. That's right. And a six speed behind that yep. LS engine. So that means that I will be putting this engine in Hank. So good news for me. <laughs> good news for him. <laughs> Very good news. And uh, let's show him the engine block that you yeah, got. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> All right, Butch, tell everybody what we got here. All right. So we got a 6.2 liter, 376 cubic inch. LS3 aluminum block, mm. but it's very light. It's a very light block. Mm. It's, um, and what else do you have for it so far? I have uh, I have the cam, I have the pistons. I have uh, we just got the crank and everything balanced. Um, I have the clutch. The only thing I'm basically missing are the aluminum heads that I'm going to order. You can order what kind of aftermarket or LS3 stock heads? No, no, I'm gonna probably go with some trick flows or some uh, AFR heads, CNC. Okay. Um, what kind of power numbers do you think you're gonna make with this setup? Um, I'm, uh, I'm confident that I'll probably make uh, 800 horsepower to the with, tire. To the tire, with uh, the capabilities of hopefully making a thousand. All right, okay. Well, you heard it from the boy himself. You heard it from the boy himself. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, Rowdy, you ready for that? I hope this car's re ready for this. Yeah, well, we've, uh, we've done some upgrades to the car, too. Um, I'm going to obviously go with the uh, disc brakes all the way around. I ordered uh, all my disc brakes from CPP. They're basically, everything's here for that. I'm um, going to got a 8-inch uh, power brake booster and master cylinder I'm going to put on it. Um, i got a Curry nine inch Ford rear end I had narrowed. I'm gonna run it's on it. its way. It's on its way. Um, what about the suspension for the rear? And the guy went with uh, Right Tech four link suspension. You some, already bought it, or yeah, that's on its way too. See, the boy's doing big some, things. With some uh, some rear coilover shocks, so I'm just waiting for that to get here, and uh, I'm go from there. And awesome, then, cool. You know, step by step process. All right, well, can you tell me a little bit about this engine that? Um, they're donating. Yeah, I can tell you. I can tell, <laughs> I can tell you a lot about this thing. So I picked this thing up out of a uh, guy's garage back. Uh, if I was say maybe three or four years ago, he had this engine block saran wrap for 20 years. He built this thing for a for a Chevrolet truck uh, to run high RPM all day at the Pismo Dunes. Mm. So um, it's uh, it's definitely uh, it's definitely done that. All for right. me well, and, uh, and Rowdy. It, what cubic inches is it? 355 cubic inches. All right. So it's a, it's a 350 bore 30 over. And then uh, what about the, tell a, everybody about the transmission you're donating for the project. Muncie 4 speed. Oh yeah. Yeah, Muncie 4 speed. All right. Yeah. Hank is going to be styling after this. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's going to be it's good. It's going to look good too. Yeah, Edelbrock air gap intake, holly carb. Yeah. So right on. All right, well, let's take this puppy back to the shop. Yeah. All right, let's put this engine in the back of the Danger Ranger. Whoa, whoa, easy, don't scratch my engine. No. <laughs> we made it back to the shop. Huge shout out to Ashlyn, one of my great friends. She made this for my birthday. It's like three quarter inch steel. Pretty cool. Very thoughtful gift, Ashlyn. Hope you're watching this. Okay, it's ready, pull it on out. <laughs> Those wheels suck, man. Also, it doesn't help that this asphalt was pretty whooped. Oh, thanks. Set me up for failure, Daniel. Uh, come on, player. Oh, don't hurt your foot. You know what it is? Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh my light. gosh. Don't, don't get the tail There 
There you go. Crank anchors. I'm about to start. <laughs> Send it, boy. I'm going to start like a bull ride. Right? Hmm. I don't know, man. This small block doesn't want to go inside the shop. Is, is this a sign? I don't know. Scrap metal yours? <laughs> no, <laughs> this engine's still good. Look at, these. Look at those breathers, though. Yeah, those breathers are pretty sweet. I like the way it looks just like that. I might not even clean it up. I might just throw it straight in there like that. All oily. You got a new fuel pump, energy suspension motor mounts. Go slow. That thing's very touchy. It's okay. Needs a new pan anyways. Okay. Well, we got Hank all the way in the back of the shop over there, so yeah, no we'll pull the cover off him a little bit. So for those of you who haven't seen him yet, take a take a look at him. But I think this motor is going to look perfect in him because yeah, it, it I'll just, just lift it up and throw it right in. <laughs> <laughs> and it uh, it just looks period correct. Like the car has got some patina to it. This motor obviously has some patina to it. These valve covers will look great under there. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of oil all over the place. Oh yeah, like well, who sealed this puppy up? 2050. <laughs> what? I sealed it and I unsealed it, okay? <laughs> Revving it up. Seven grand. This thing revs to seven grand, boy? We'll find out. Okay, let's go. Okay, maybe, maybe 6,500. Pretty cool to see the old small block and then the newer small block together. For those of you guys who don't know, Butch is pretty much an old school Chevy guy at heart. So, going to the new LS territory for him is just a new, he's learning a lot right now. He's walking on thin ice, especially with his car club. Where they almost kicked him out once they, <laughs> once, they heard, once they heard he was going to fuel injection. They almost full sending me into the freaking the other side of the street, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, he's learning. We got the fuel injection kit over here. This is a similar setup that he'll be using. It's a Holley Terminator X. So I was just showing him that stuff there so he can kind of get familiar. Anyways, so engine is in the shop for Hank. Let's go check him out real quick. For those of you who have not seen him before, this is my 1956 Chevy 210. We'll uncover him here. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, I, I didn't bolt this down yet. This but Butch gave me this for as a present, actually, and uh, I set it on here, but I haven't bolted it down yet. So we'll take this off for now. So here's Hank. Yeah. Take uh, take off the back. Yeah. It's pretty much a uh, all original, original paint. Original patina, original wheels. And uh, let's pop the hood. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> A little crusty. So we're going to pull this thing out and we'll put in that small block. You, uh, what are you going to do with this engine? <laughs> well, what are you going to sell it to someone in your car club that you got kicked out from? <laughs> That's the only way to get back in, man. I got to come with a, something old school, grungy, and, uh, you know. Bring something to the table. Yeah, bring something to the table, you know. Like a, do like a dog with a t tail between his legs coming back with a 265, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to pull it out. and I mean, I reckon we can pull it apart and I, see what's wrong with the internals. I definitely know somebody that can use those exhaust manifolds. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know somebody that can use them for sure. He needs that one actually. This one? Yeah, that one in particular. Well, fucking unbolt it and give it to him. Or if he wants the whole motor. Nah, he don't want the whole motor. Is that a special type of manifold or what? 
It's a 265 manifold. That's specific? Specific. But I honestly, you're better off putting ram horns on it because it'll breathe better. But that is a sp it's a specific rare manifold because they only came on the 265s. Mm -hmm. But but then sometimes they used them on the 283s. But you can you can run ram horns on either one too, and the ram horns flowed better. Gotcha. Because they had two and a half inch ram horns and two inch ram horns. That's two inch exhaust. So even if you were to put two inch ram horns on it, it would still flow better. It would perform better. But then if you put the two and a half on it, it does get good. It's even better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we we'll give it to whoever needs it because. Uh, don't want to waste stuff, you know? Yeah. Anyways, all right. Well, here's Hank. So we're not going to start on this project right away. So um, I, I got this car, and I really wasn't trying to get into a new project, but I ended up buying it, and I told myself I would just acquire some parts slowly, a little bit at a time, and that's exactly what we did. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're going with the plan, yeah. sticking with the original plan, yeah. and this motor just... You know, it was in his car, ran ran pretty good. So now that he's going with the LS, we'll stick this over there. Yeah. We're going new new school and old school. Yeah. Okay. Butch is also kind enough to throw in the transmission for me and a bunch of other belongings. What do we got here, Butcher? Oh, well, we got a lot, man. Uh, we got a we got a close ratio four speed Muncie with a 254 first gear, which is good. It's the one you want. You know, for what is this, for what this is doing. aftermarket bell housing. This is uh this is uh <laughs> this is a vintage scatter shield and it's it's really cool because it's two piece. Um you don't you don't find these a lot. This is um this is something oh, I put shit. on the, this is something I put on the rowdy. Um myself I acquired it from Dang. somebody. I could use this clutch still too probably. You possibly may be able to. It's um but <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean you tell me. That's mm -hmm. not too bad. It's not too man. bad. It's not too bad. It worked. It Let's worked. See. That's yeah. all inspected. Uh, cool, man. Clutch. We got some headers over there too. Got some rewarder headers. We got so uh, we got a flywheel. Dang. We got uh that's a, that's an original. <laughs> hey, hey boy, get your sticky paws off of that. I don't know if that's included in the sale yet or not. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. This is this I want to give to you. This is this is really cool because this is a this is a, an original Hearst competition shifter and uh, they reproduce these now, but. They're, they're not made like they used to make them. And this is this is a Hearst stick. You guys welded this on here. We, we welded this on here because sometimes they'll they'll typically sticks will typically have um, uh, an area to um, to bolt the stick on with two bolts, but uh, this one did not. So we we welded it on here because this you're gonna need a special stick like this for Hank because to clear the bench seat you oh, can't just okay. put any stick on Hank. Uh -oh. Hank's uh, Hank's pretty particular. Okay? <laughs> so. <laughs> this is a cool, man. this is a, a real Hearst genuine stick and a competition. Shoot, thank you, shifter man. And uh, I want you to have this for uh, for good old Hank because you know, he, he deserves um, no problem. So what we're doing here is is I'm gonna help him build his turbo motor, his LS3, and then um, I gave him some money for this too. It wasn't a lot, you know, but uh, he, I'm, I'm we're trading we're trading time and skills here, so. Each other. That's it goes both ways, right? Hot rodders do, man. You help each other out, and you know we're, we're friends, and uh, that's just like yeah, that's how things are supposed to be, you know. That's right. So cool, man. Let's get this. Yeah. Let's get this in the shop. Yeah. Oh shoot, that's it's two cool. pieces. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Like for the leak down test, these are the numbers we got from the leak down test itself. Okay, so number. So right. this is the leak down test that he just did on that engine there. Yeah. In uh, number five and seven. Five and seven. Five and seven were down, what ten percent, fifteen percent? Yeah, we got we got basically thirteen percent on one and seventeen on the other. Which actually those two, the way the passages and everything are set up on these small blocks, those those uh, two cylinders run hotter. They actually do run hotter than than the rest of them. That's why. That's why. If you, that's because why, they're right next to each other, the exhaust ports. You mean? Yeah. 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 And um, so that's why, like, they even. Um, I think they even redid the. Uh, that's what I was mentioning. Remember when I asked you about the firing order on these new LSs? Oh, it's like, different. The they, old they, a four seven swap or a five seven or is that what it is? Like a four seven? They swap two of them. I forget the firing order on they, that. They swap this is two one eight four three six five seven two on the old small block. Mm -hmm. They changed it on the LS motors, but I think they anyways. swap. Well. 
Okay, so we got all the parts here that we need that Butcher was kind enough to throw in with the deal. And uh, this motor here, I'm probably going to tear it down. Number five and number seven cylinder were down a little bit on the compression. It wasn't blowing any smoke or anything, but I'll probably go through the motor a little bit. Uh, this build here will probably take place in the next couple months or so. But we are going to build immediately is Butcher's uh, LS3 turbo and that's going to get uh, H beam rods, forged pistons, it's already in the works, we already have all the parts. So stay tuned because in the next couple of weeks we're going to be assembling that engine and it's going to look basically just like that when we're done. So we're going to take it from the bare block and assemble the full thing here in the shop and we're going to try to take you guys along with us and uh, yeah. show you how show you how we do it. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. So you can experience Oh, 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 uh, sweet patina. Sweet patina was kind enough to uh, set me up with uh, some good old Ride Tech suspension and coilovers. Thank you, Sweet Patina, for everything you did. He also sent me a goodie box to uh, detail old Rowdy. And I figured this same box will look, work good for the Slayer too as well. So as you can see, Sweet Patina, some products here. If you need some good automotive car cleaning products, please hit up Sweet Patina mm. on Instagram. That's a cool label. It is. Look at that, that's his, that's his 57 Chevy wagon. Awesome, this guy's been to like 40 different states already in this yeah. rig. Yeah. It's awesome. It's, it's really cool, it's really cool. So I got him. Yeah. And, and it's, all for, it's all for a good cause too. It is, it is all for so, a good cause. Well, we'll so. have to try some of these out. But we don't we don't really have that many nice shiny vehicles. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But hey, we got yeah. the Danger Ranger we could polish up maybe. Yeah, we do you have a, bar, a nice Barracuda yeah. there in the yeah, back there. Yeah, Barracuda that, that, that Polly's gonna be Yeah, off. here we there. Just so you guys can see that I don't have I don't have only junk. Here's my, <laughs> here's my Barracuda. Yeah, you eat off it. So, so clean. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon.